how to wash a Suron. What's going on you guys? Today I'm going to be cleaning my Suron. I'm going to show you guys how I do it. Now the bike is actually not that dirty. I've cleaned it a couple of times but nothing special. I'm going to use some gunk off to spray over the chain and try and get all this excess grease off if you can see. It's like a bunch of grease build up right there. But it's in there and it's on the chain too so we're going to be spraying some foam gunk off to clean up this bike. Okay so the first things first start by removing your battery. Obviously you don't want to get that thing wet so get that out of here. The next thing I like to do is tape off all the ports, anything electrical that is exposed that I run the risk of water getting into, I tape it off and I'm just using some simple masking tape, preferably any tape though that does not leave residue. So this will work just fine. Yeah, just throw some tape on it just like that on all your ports, anything electrical like I said, I'll even throw some in this USB port and close this back on top of it. So here's how everything looks taped up. I have the display fully taped off. Don't want to risk water getting in there. I know water can get in there sometimes from washing these things and it just either destroys it or leaves water condensation on the display. So don't want to risk that. Also have our connectors fully taped off. And then I also went ahead and taped off the breaker because I don't want to risk that getting splashed either. And then the last thing I got taped off is my light switch. I thought I'd tape that off just in case. But now that everything is taped off, we can go ahead and start so spraying it down. Before I start down. spraying off the bike, I'm going to spray it down with some gunk engine cleaner, the foamy kind. Spray this on the chain and any parts that I see some nasty grease build up. Why do I try? Alright, so I've pretty much used the whole can. We're gonna let that sit for just a little bit and then we're gonna come back and rinse it off and I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like in the end. Now I just gotta dry it off. I pretty much just washed the drivetrain honestly I didn't really touch the top half but that's the only thing that was really dirty like I said I've already washed this once or twice before but I just used some degreaser on this one so let's dry it off and see how it looks not as clean as I expected however the chain is Definitely a lot cleaner. I don't know how well it'll show up on the camera, but it's definitely cleaner than it was. Still needs a little bit of TLC, but... Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you learned anything in this video, how to wash your Suron or anything like that, leave a like and comment down below, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.